our dean, Carol Sini, the almighty bedrock of our program, and distinguished guests. A little peculiar, 50% female, 50% male. A majority non-American. Developing and developed. White and black. North and south. Big and small. <laughs> Equally passionate. Paula and I may be breaking the rule by doing a joint speech, but we hope we're up to this honour. I first met Paula uh, at the very start of the MPID when we were randomly assigned to one of the few surviving study groups. I'd never met anyone from Edinburgh before, but she always talks about the beautiful mountains and the islands, and now I can't wait to visit. She talks more about the problems that people face and the challenges of government. I'm just waiting for the invitation. <laughs> I remember Chris, the big Irish looking guy, on the first day of class. I later found out that he was indeed Irish and that he had worked in Africa with World School. I almost had to ask him to write all this because of everyone else in the class, I could barely understand a single word of it. <laughs> now, I also look forward to see his house by the sea, his work with faith-based organizations, and all the wonderful things that he's going to do. I'm also waiting for an invitation. <laughs> we talk about us, but only because we're here in front of you. You just need to replace Ireland for Connecticut or Korea. Ecuador for China, Uganda or Mexico. Just change schools in Africa for a ministry in Sudan, or the World Bank, United Nations, or even the US Navy. <laughs> Seven out of ten of us, yes, we have to use numbers, are from all different countries outside the United States. And we're not about to go to many other parts of the world. Actually, the salary of an MPID graduate should definitely include a budget to afford the trips, the lifetime of holiday destinations, their wedding, their reunion, and maybe in some cases, a visit to seek refuge after having caused the latest financial crisis. <laughs> we came here to learn how to create a more inclusive world, yet sometimes the endless simultaneous equations and statistical programs drained our courage and burnt our brains. <laughs> Thankfully, Lan Pritchett was, here, was always there to show us how to use these tools of engineers and physicists can help design solutions. Solutions that may have already failed. So now they say it is our turn to go and push the boundaries. We say land, but again, we could say Danny, Dan, or any of our other MPID faculty. They all have done a great job. They leave us with many unanswered questions. But it seems that that's what it's all about. No matter what we end up doing, now we have learned to ask better questions, to push back, to think critically, and finally, to take some risks, to tackle them. Who knew? But even at Harvard, there was no wizard of <laughs> But we're much more than what we do. Indeed, we've been transformed through these two years because now we take a little bit of each other away with us. I hope that we all have a little bit of praise, smart way to put questions into words. Some of Imran's commitment and a lot of Hannah's reliability. <laughs> a bit of a slack savviness and sense of pragmatism. As some of Ed's knowledge of everything and a lot of Iman's faith. Some of Noor's braveness, a little bit of Gulchan's spontaneous attitude, and a lot of Shireen and Gita's determination. Just imagine if we all take from this place just a little bit of Andres and Dan's result orientation. Marina's need to build a community and just a tiny bit of Gossip's ironic touch. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have a lot of Vanya's curiosity, some of Marcus's simple, smart ways, and also some of Conchita's collection of airmails? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget to take some of Kate and Nupur's sense of independence, and also a little bit of Francisco's pursuit for perfection. Just be careful if you get some of Chris's clumsing. <laughs> <laughs> We thought of something for each person in our class, only that we don't have time to mention it. We do take a little bit of each other in our next journey, and if that is not transformation, we don't know what is. Now, how do we make sure that all these transforming seeds grow? Our actions and choices will be the soil that allows them to grow. Surely we have planted beautiful and strong trees. Our forest will be composed by each of our lives. How, will we, how we will be there for each other to face the obstacles but also how we would be there for others, especially those less fortunate than ourselves. As trees, we MPIDs will keep reaching out, making shade, and keeping water. So whether we feel ready or not to go, now we have the tools, 
and we have each other. The challenge is on. Thank, Thank you, you MKRT, and, and let's have a day continue. continue. <laughs>